Hello my friends, welcome to Coffee and Reaction video channel. I am Mustafa from Turkey and today let's watch an enjoyable video together and delicious. Today's video is 10 countries tell us what goes on white rice. My answer is absolutely beans. We in Turkey eat white rice with beans. We love that. Beans and white rice. This is a perfect duo in our country. Okay. I'm curious about the other countries also and I think there is Turkey here. I'm sure that they are gonna say beans. Let's watch it. Strawberry. Strawberry on a... Okay. I'm not gonna criticize, but okay. <laughs> okay. Hi, I'm Beryl, and I saw a TikTok video that inspired this new series. I'll answer this one for me. Yogurt and white sugar. Oh, okay, so this is a TikTok um, trend video. I didn't know that. Okay. YouTube has suggested me this video, so I think I thought that it's gonna be fun. Okay, let's continue. Eggs and soy sauce, obviously. Eggs. Okay. Butter and soy. Black beans and maha. Rice and peas, not beans, with gravy. I saw that and I thought, hmm, I have a pretty large international audience. Let's see this in a bigger, more produced way. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna do this again. The next topic is hot dogs. By the way, I forget to mention which YouTube channel is this. Um, Beryl Shirshovsky. Beryl Shirshovsky. I'm sorry if I pronounce it wrong. Uh, I remember she pronounced correct way uh, in the start of the video. I'm sorry, Beryl, if I pronounce it wrong. Let's continue. This is a beautiful video. Thank you, Beryl. So my email address is in the description. Email me if you want to be in the video. The two or three toppings that you put on a hot dog in your country. Hot dog. And we'll get to see it again. Okay. I think it'll be fun. Plus, I love hot dogs. But for now, episode one, the question is, what do you put on white rice? Beans. Beans. Hey, Beryl. I'm Marina. I'm from Argentina. And what I like to add to white rice is olives, green peas, and tuna. And okay. also some mayonnaise. And that's quite common here. So I hope you enjoy it. Uh, okay, this was from Argentina. Okay, I just forget uh, which country. Argentina. Olives, beans. Tuna and mayonnaise. That's interesting. Not for me. Interesting. Hi, I'm Jess from Tasmania, Australia. A childhood favorite of mine is rice topped with brown sugar and cold cream. It's kind of a cheeky take on cream rice that my dad used to make for us. Hi everyone. My name is Chandrika and I'm from Andhra Pradesh. In I, I trust you, India. I trust your taste because Indian and Turkish taste is not big different. Okay, I trust your taste. Come on, come on, Andra. Okay. India. My three toppings for rice today are a ghee. Ghee? What is ghee? I don't know ghee. What is ghee? Butter. Okay. It's some kind of butter, I think. Okay. Gunpowder. Gunpowder? What is gunpowder? I think this is a spice. Okay. And raw red onions. I would say that this combination is close to almost all South Indians hearts. It's a nice break to have this from the more common topping of, you know, dal or something. This is okay. Not uh, what I was expecting, but it's okay. It's cool. Puspa from Indonesia. Indonesia. Okay. And today I would make nasi sarden. It's actually a combination of white rice and a canned sardines, which has... I don't like seafood, so I just cancelled this one. Not my cup of tea. Thank you, Indonesia. <laughs> okay. Made a sauce on it. And it's a very nice savory dish. It's a staple from... I don't even don't like to look at... Okay. Because I don't like any seafoods. This is not for me. Indonesian's household and I love to have it as a lunch or as a brunch. Hi, my Hi. name is Uyanga and I'm from, from Mongolia. Mongolia okay. We make biris with leftover rice often. It's made with shartas which... Same G, okay, with India, okay. 
which is similar to ghee, uh, washed raisins, and warmed up leftover rice. I like mine pretty sweet, uh, but you have to make sure you use enough chartas to cover every single rice grain with shine. Okay, I think this was a sweet rice. I like my rice salty, not sweet. Okay. Where are you from? Filipino American from Southern California. Okay, I'm California. Okay, look at this t <laughs> Look at this view. Uh, Sailor Moon. Okay, I, I watched that Sailor Moon when I was a child. My name is Wally. I'm a Filipino American from Southern California. Okay. If I had a bowl of rice, the two ingredients I like to put on top of it would be fried spam and a this should be like bacon sometime, some like, right? Looks like bacon or something. Fried egg. Okay, not bad. This could be okay. It's okay. If I have some green onions from the garden, I'll sprinkle that on top as well. Sure. And if I'm feeling extra spicy, might as well throw on some... What? Kim kimchi? I don't know of kimchi. I know that this is from um, Korea's uh, cuisine, but I don't know what is kimchi. Kimchi. This dish is called spam salug, and it's something I could eat for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Me too. This looks like good. Okay. This is good. Hi, Beryl. This is Mai from Vitoria in the northern part of Spain. Spain. Here is really common to have arroz a la cubana or Cuban rice style. This is gonna be my taste. Okay. I'm gonna like this one. I trust you, Spain. To prepare it, it's really simple. You just top the white rice with fried tomato sauce and a fried egg on top. And okay. it's ready to enjoy. I hope you okay. like it. That's cool. That's good. That's good. I can eat this. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Hi, I'm Mina from Istanbul. Okay, Mina. I trust you. We have same taste. Okay. Come on, Mina. Turkey and I would add chickpeas, salad. That's okay. That's close to beans. Uh, but when I tell beans, we have bean food. Separately bean food. Not only beans, not only boiled beans. We have a food, bean food. I'm talking about these beans. <laughs> okay. And pickled green chilies. Um, rice with chickpeas is a street food in Turkey and it's called nohut pilav. Yes, I know that street food, but this is more like salads, not my tastes. I'm sorry, my dear friend Mina from Turkey. This is like a salad. Okay. I'm Jenna and I live in Iowa in the USA. I've got a very Americanized <laughs> rice bowl topping for you. I cut chicken nuggets in quarters, sure. add green onions sure. and ginger paste. Ginger paste. I don't know ginger paste, but this looks like cool. Okay, this is beautiful. And if I happen to have it, I'll also top it with some sesame seeds. Okay. I live in a rural area and there aren't a lot of options for different cuisines and ingredients from around the world. And I kind of wanted just an easy way to make something. That That's cool. That's cool. That's really cool. Okay, I, I love this one. I love this one. This is good. It was kind of like a stir fry. My name is Soroja and I'm from Poland. On top of rice, it may sound different. I like to put the strawberry smoothie. Oh no, this is this is no for me. This is big no for me. No, no Poland. <laughs> no Poland. Like Slavic sweet pasta, no. holes feel the same with sweets. No sweets. You just get warm rice and literally put the smoothie on top. It's good, I promise. This is like deserts, but rice, I don't know. Okay, not for me. Obviously, I had to try all of these, so here are some of my thoughts. Okay. I think my favorite was this one, the Spam Salog. I sure. cooked the Spam very, very crispy. Yes. Mwah. So delicious. Yes, this is very cool. This must be very cool. Okay. The egg and the kimchi and the green onions, 10 out of 10. My favorite one, yeah. The arroz a la cubana was the... From Spain, yes. This is cool also. This is beautiful. Good job, Spain. Surprise hit for me. If you added a little bit of cheese, it honestly felt like a pizza. Kind of tastes like okay. a pizza. The strawberry smoothie from Poland obviously questioned. Are you serious? Are you serious? Okay. It very greatly, but it kind of tasted like a strawberry shortcake. <laughs> it tastes like strawberry shortcake. I don't hate it. I don't know if I would do it again, but man, that was an interesting bite for sure. Sure, interesting. <laughs> 
Nohut pilau from Turkey, okay. loved it. I would have added maybe a little bit of yogurt, maybe a little bit more hot sauce, but as it was, the vegetables did give it enough liquid so that it didn't feel dry and it felt like a fun take on a salad. Yeah, this is more like salad. But in Turkey, this is not the ideal one. We have some bean food separately from the rice and we mix them together. Kuru pilav, we know that. Pilav, uh, we call uh, rice in Turkey. Pilav and bean, with bean food on top of that or near. Okay. This is not ideal in Turkey. Almost. I thought it would need yogurt, but it's pretty good. Yogurt wouldn't hurt though. The Argentinian one loved it. Tuna, mayo, olives, the peas, maybe a little bit random for me, but... Seafood, no. <laughs> no for me. Mwah. So delicious. It was perfect. I will definitely be eating this one as a snack again and again. Okay. Very much my type. Ooh, okay. <laughs> I like it. Mm -hmm. For the Indonesian dish, left to my own devices, I don't think I would have ever bought sardines in tomato sauce in a can, ever. And I was surprised by how big the fish was inside the can. However, sardines taste really lovely. And with the tomato sauce a little bit warm, it was very filling and like a simple meal, but it felt very complete. Okay. And it's changed my mind. Can we change the other one, please? I am trying to not to look. <laughs> I really don't like seafood, okay. About oh, so. It's really nice. Okay. Simple, yummy. I've never thought. Okay. For the Mongolian dish, anytime you put a lot of ghee on something, I am very much here for it. With the raisins and the brown sugar, it felt kind of like a comfort food that I had never had before. With the hot rice and the, I mean, it was very good. Okay, so this is another sweet rice. This is interesting, okay. And you could use butter if you don't have ghee, honestly. <laughs> hmm. So ghee and butter is kind of similar, okay. That is decadent. The Australian cream with brown sugar on the rice, honestly, like, it was so decadent. It was so simple. I made it again that very night for dessert. It was, I don't know what else to say other than loved it. Loved it. Oh my it. God. <laughs> Uh, the problem is I can't eat sweet things as food. I can't eat sweet for dessert after the food. I'm thinking that no, sweet is not food for me. Sweet is dessert for me, not food. Okay, this is my taste, of course. I respect all of your tastes. <laughs> The USA chicken nuggets and rice bowl. I thought it was a great way to use ingredients that are easily accessible at a local grocery store yes. and do something a little more out of the box. The addition of the ginger paste was fun and it was bright and it definitely brought a lot of life to the dish. And I think for what it was, it was delicious. Yeah, this food is cool. This food is really cool. And not mixed all of them like this, but I use this dish lots of times. Yeah. Then there's nothing wrong with chicken and rice, right? Just kind of a separate preparation. Yeah. <laughs> like Chandrika said, I got a lot of submissions from India. I wanted to try hers because I'd never had gunpowder before. It was rich. I really don't know what is gunpowder. This must be a strong spice. Okay. And spicy and biting had like a little bit of a sour taste going for it. It was kind of refreshing in a way. I liked it. Whoa, it works. So this is a new video to add to the repertoire of okay. the other videos that we do here. I would love to know what you think, hear your impressions, hear your thoughts, what you'd like to see more of. Like I said in the beginning, the next video is going to be hot dogs. And I think the one after that is going to be oatmeal. If you have any other dishes that you'd like to see done like this, let me know. It's exciting to do and try new things. And I'm happy that you are all here to do them with me. So guys, you heard Beryl, if it's not uh, late. I think this is late. This is January 4th. <laughs> I was thinking this could be a new video. Okay. Uh, I'm sure that Beryl is already made the hot dogs. I think this is the hot dogs. Okay. So, uh, this is her YouTube channel. Let's check that. I'm sure that there are lots of amazing videos like this. I am sure that. Okay. You can subscribe her YouTube channel. I really like this video. I really like this idea. Uh, and you can contact with her, you can answer her questions, you can let her know your favorites. So thank you guys for watching this 
amazing, beautiful and delicious video with me. And I hope to see you in the next videos. Until then, please take care of yourself. Have a nice day. Bye bye.